A while back, I made a comparison video of the original Nufi Air 75 to the Keychron K3 Pro, and it turned out to be this channel's most watched video in 2023 with over 120,000 views. And now it is time for an updated comparison because Nufi has released the Air 75 V2 and Keychron has released the K3 Max. Let's see how this 75% low profile head-to-head -head comes out this time. Before we dive in, I wanna mention that both manufacturers sent me these keyboards for the purpose of reviewing them, which I have done separately for both, and I will put links in the description if you wanna check out those detailed reviews. This video is not sponsored and neither manufacturer asked me to make a comparison. I do have some affiliate links in the description for you though if you're interested in picking up either of these keyboards and you would like to support the channel. All right, so last time when I compared the Air 75 to the K3 Pro, the K3 Pro had a big advantage when it came to customization because of its QMK firmware and VIA compatibility, while the Air 75 could only be customized with Nufi console and that was Windows only. Other than that though, I preferred the features of the Air 75 to the K3 Pro. But both manufacturers have made some improvements here, so it is worth revisiting this comparison. Now we're gonna talk about most of the features and specs of these in the comparison, so let's just do our sound test and then we'll dig in. Okay, so let's start by getting out of the way the major features here that these keyboards actually have in common and where neither one really has an advantage. First up, the big thing is that now both of these keyboards feature QMK firmware with VIA compatibility for customization and adding macros, which was a difference in the original comparison. So now the Nufi Air 75 V2 has the same QMK firmware with VIA compatibility that the K3 Max has. So both of these, use, there's no difference in terms of the options you have when customizing. And they both also still have a physical switch on them with pre-programmed layers for you to go between a Windows and a Mac layout. In terms of the Bluetooth connections, you also have three connections on both keyboards. So they, they both are gonna give you Bluetooth for up to three devices. Very minor difference here in terms of polling rate. You've got 90 Hertz polling rate on the Bluetooth of the K3 Max and you've got 125 hertz polling on the Bluetooth on the Air 75 V2. They also both have a 1000 hertz polling rate on the USB-C wired connection, and they both also have a 2.4 gigahertz connection that offers a 1000 hertz polling rate. However, we're actually gonna talk about the 2.4 gigahertz connection separately as well. Now they both have hot swap sockets that fit Gatoron low profile switches, so the switches are interchangeable between these keyboards. If, if for example, you like the K3 Max, but you really like some of Nufi's switches that they offer, you could buy switches from Nufi and put them in the K3 Max, that's not a problem. They are the same in terms of the switches that they accept. They both also offer two position fold out adjustable feet that are permanently attached and they are both compatible with using on top of a laptop keyboard. So you have the same options there between them in terms of the typing angles and using them on a laptop. Okay, so that is where the similarities pretty much end here between the K3 Max and the Air 75 V2. Now let's start getting into some things that either are different between them or maybe one of them has an advantage over the other. First up, let me just point out the physical difference here. Now dimension wise, they're not all that different. They are very similar, but the Air 75 V2 is just ever so slightly larger in both directions, length and width. So as far as being as compact as possible, the K3 Max wins there. But in terms of other design differences with the K3 Max, as with all of Keychron's low profile keyboards, you have a floating key design, which means there's no case bezel, there's nothing enclosing the key area. So you can bump into these keys and the key caps by you know, placing this in a bag or at something if you don't have a 
protective cover on it, you could be kind of hitting the sides of all of the keys easily. So if you're using this on the go, keep that in mind. Whereas the Air 75 V2, the case design is kind of protecting the edges of your keys a little bit. So again, for travel, a little bit more protection of your keys and switches here with the Air 75 V2. All right, now let's talk about that 2.4 gigahertz connection again. They both do have a 1000 hertz polling rate, so no advantage for either one in terms of that the latency or the polling rate between it, but the range seems a little better with the K3 Max, or we give sort of a point to the K3 Max here. I'm not using a rating system, but they both work fine, but the Air Series, the V2 Series of the Air Keyboards from Nufi have suffered a little bit in terms of the range of the 2.4 gigahertz connection. I do wanna point out though, in all instances, for me anyway, the issues with the connection were resolved when I got the receiver closer and got rid of the, the objects in the way in terms of the line of sight. So if I use an ex a cable to extend it and get it closer, those issues went away. So it's not like you can't resolve the issue, it's just that you have to worry a little bit more about the placement of the receiver. All right, now in terms of sound and feel here, to me, the Nufi Air 75 V2 feels more refined. It definitely has better stabilizer performance than the K3 Max. I do think there's a little bit more of a controlled sound with the K3 Max compared to the K3 Pro, which was the immediate predecessor here to the K3 Max. But in terms of stabilizer performance especially, just way less rattle with the Nufi Air 75 V2. As far as sound and feel goes, I give the edge to the Air 75 V2. Now, when it comes to lighting, the RGB lighting, both of these are available in full RGB lighting. The K3 Max does have a white backlighting only, but that's not a hot swap option. So if you're okay with white only backlighting and not having hot swap sockets, they do have that option, which is nice to have the option. The Air 75 V2 only comes in a full RGB lighting. It's also got the RGB side marker lights, which provide a little functionality. The left one tells you connection status and caps lock status. The right one has a battery indicator. So overall, in terms of the execution of the backlighting, maybe a slight edge to the Air 75 V2. I also like that Nufi offers you the ability to easily add on for $19, pretty affordable price, shine through keycaps. Whereas Keychron, you're kind of on your own. You have to search out and buy your own shine through keycaps if you want them. So lighting in general overall, a little bit of an edge to the Nufi Air 75 V2. Now, when it comes to battery life, here's another win for the Air 75 V2. It's actually a bigger win here because the capacity between them is definitely different. You've got 1,550 milliamp hour in the K3 Max, 4,000 milliamp hour in the Air 75 V2, and that carries over into the expected battery life. We have less than 100 hours of expected battery life on the K3 Max. It's only 78 hours with all the lighting off. All the lighting off on the Air 75 V2 is gonna get you over 200 hours of use. So you can definitely go over a month of use. Whereas the K3 Max, 78 hours, honestly, in 2023, going into 2024 now, we know what's possible on the market in terms of battery life for these wireless keyboards. So it's a little disappointing to have less than 100 hours of use. Now, in terms of color options, a little bit of an edge here to the Air 75 V2, but I wanna add a caveat to this. So right now, as of the time I'm recording this, the Air 75 V2 is available in three color options. You have a black, a white, and a gray color option. Whereas the K3 Max, as of the time I'm recording this, is only available in this sort of matte gray color option which is a little dull if you ask me personally, but it's very subjective, of course. You might love this matte gray color option. Maybe it goes with your desk setup really well, and so it's perfect for you. But personally, I would like a little more contrast available here, at least as an option. Again, I know that's subjective, but one thing that Keychron has done in the past, as they did with their K3 Pro, is sometimes they will add new color options later. The K3 Pro, I believe at one point, was available with in a black, all black. It also has been available in an all white color option. So it's possible that they add other color theme options to the K3 Max at some point. So of course, check Keychron's website if you wanna know what colors are currently available. All right, let's talk about switches and keycaps here. In terms of switch options at the time of purchase, Nufi gives you a little bit more because Nufi has those, those Nufi branded switches that they offer. So you have a total of seven switch options, assuming they're all in stock and available at the time you purchase. You have seven choices to make here. You've got three Gatoron low profile 2.0 switches, and you've got four Nufi branded switches, whereas the K3 Max, it's just the three standard Gatoron low profile 2.0 switches, red, brown, and blue. And when it comes to keycaps, 
this is very subjective. In terms of quality of the keycaps, they're both very nice quality. They're both double shot, low profile keycaps made of PBT material. They both have a little bit of that PBT texture, which is nice. The legends are nice and sharp on them. There is a slight forward slant on Keychron's low profile keycaps, whereas Nufi's profile is more flat uniform across the top. So if you don't like that tiny bit of forward slant, the Nufi keycaps might be preferable to you, but that's very subjective. One other thing to consider is whether an ISO layout is available now, actually, at the time I'm recording this, neither one is available in an ISO layout, but Keychron regularly comes out with ISO layouts of most of their keyboards. I'm not sure if they do it for every single one. I would kind of expect that at some point the K3 Max might be available in an ISO layout. So even though it's not currently available today in the ISO layout, I'm gonna assume that it will be at some point for the K3 Max and kind of give the advantage to Keychron there. And lastly, when it comes to price, the K3 Max is a little bit cheaper. So I'll put the pricing on the screen here for the most expensive versions that you can get. The, the Air 75 V2 with Nufi switches and it is slightly higher priced than the option with Gatoron switches. And the K3 Max has a few different price points. The cheapest is gonna be white backlight only with not hot swappable switches and the most expensive will be the hot swappable full RGB version. So I think the K3 Max comes out a little bit less. Both of these, if you buy direct from the manufacturer, you will pay for shipping because they ship direct from China. However, both of them may also be available on Amazon. If they are available on Amazon, I'll include links to that in the description as well. All right, so all of that considered, I personally have to give the advantage here overall to the Air 75 V2. The improvements that Nufi made here make this, in my opinion, the best all around choice for a low profile mechanical keyboard in a 75% layout. Now the K3 Max also made a couple of improvements over the K3 Pro and the original K3, but for me, that battery life, a little bit disappointing there. And I was hoping for improved performance in the stabilizers as well. So again, for me personally, the win has to go to the Air 75 V2 because now it does everything that the K3 Max does, but it also does it with greater battery life. But let me know down in the comments which one you would pick, or if you already got one, let me know which one you got and how you're liking it. If you wanna see more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and go ahead and check out this video that's right up here. I'm sure you'll like it. Thanks everybody, see you next time.